We just saw the documentary, The Doctrine of Discovery. It, uh, my personal opinion was like someone hit me in the stomach. It was so powerful, so direct, did not mince words. And if you're an American and you live in this country, um, and you see also the struggles of indigenous all around the world, you need to see this. Uh, the word need is in capital letters. So let's start with the, uh, one of the first gentlemen responsible for this film. And please introduce yourself, sir. Thank you. My name is Sheldon uh, Wolfchild. I'm uh, Dakota from Minnesota. I live on the Lower Sioux uh, Metawakanton uh, Nation in Minnesota, and uh, it's been a six, uh, about a six-year process uh, doing this film, and uh, we finally completed the film and released it about a few days ago on the 4th of September, and uh, it's titled uh, the Doctrine of Discovery Unmasking the Domination Code. And uh, uh, we go back 500 years from to, uh, to uh, uh, Christopher Columbus and the papal edicts uh, that uh, started the process of how our, of how our uh, original lands uh, uh, were taken from us. And uh, Stephen Newcomb, our co-producer in the film, can talk more on that. but. Uh, Please go to our website, 38plus2productions.com. We're depending on uh, social media to get the word out. We have uh, two trailers on there as well as uh, updates of where we'll be showing the film. We're on, on our journey uh, up the East Coast now and uh, all this month to show it in New York, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. And you can follow us on our website. And uh, please uh, look at the uh, get the film if you can. Please purchase the film. You can purchase over our, on our website. For all that information is on there. Thank you very much. Yeah, my name is Steve Newcomb. I'm Shawnee and Lenape. I'm the co-founder and co-director of the Indigenous Law Institute. And uh, I have a book published called Pagans in the Promised Land, Decoding the Doctrine of Christian Discovery. It came out in 2008. And the movie, Doctrine of Discovery, Unmasking the Domination Code, is based on the book and uh, provides uh, amazing information about original nations and peoples and the Vatican documents of the 15th century issued by the Holy See that called for the reduction and the subjection of original peoples uh, or as they would call them the barbarous nations and that's how it states it in the in the Vatican documents and uh, so these documents are examples of a template of domination and dehumanization that was taken all across the globe by the by the Vatican and by the various monarchies of Christendom. So this film tells that story, and uh, but it also talks about the future and what life could be like if we began to uh, see folks embracing our original instructions and the original teachings that honor the earth as as our mother and have a sacred regard for all living things. And our friend and mentor, Virgil Kilstrait, traditional headman of the Oglala Lakota Nation, speaks in the film about the seven laws and uh, those original teachings. So it's, it's a very powerful film. People are moved by it. And uh, we're calling for the Pope to revoke the papal bulls of the 15th century that saw, set all that into motion. And we also deal with the U.S. federal Indian law and policy system in the film and show what needs to be reformed in that regard as well. Thank you. Uh, they call me Bob C. Billy, but I have my, uh, my indigenous name is uh, Ishagapi, which means uh, take it, walk with it. So that's what I've been doing most of my life. So. Uh, the way that we live in, in the God's gift, which is we follow the natural law, which is take care of his creation. And all of these things we see would disappear in front of us. So we have to do something to protect the future generation for all people. And so that's why we're here to try to protect and try to educate people we cannot go on the way we are today because we have to think about the future generation. They're going to be struggle what we have done for them. So we need to wake up and save some for them 
future generation. I'm so glad uh, my relation t t came to support and to make you understand more because me, I don't know how to read and write, and the lady helps me to do things uh, that, and I appreciate them to came to support. Also, when they Bastilian and uh, Pedro Mendes, when they came, they didn't came just this area. They go all over what all the indigenous peoples are, and they slaughter them and, and abuse them and rape them. All of those things we have done. When we see the celebration taking place, it's killing us. They can't renew that. They have to be stopped. So that's why we're here. I hope you support that, that understand and educate yourself what those two people have done. They need to be stopped. Thank you. I want to thank you all three. I think the world is a better place, people like you. And I love the idea. It's not confrontation. It's dialogue and education that will bring a change of the way we think. And thank you very much.